Welcome to Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drada. I'm Nick Park and I'm taking us through a series called The Biblical Game of Thrones. We're looking at the kings and the queens of ancient Israel and Judah and seeing how actually uh, the conspiracies, the scheming, the plots, the wars, the murders and everything else far exceeded anything in any fictional TV series. Now, we saw earlier that there was a king over the northern kingdom of Israel called Ahaziah. And there was also a king later on with the same name over the southern kingdom of Judah with its headquarters in Jerusalem. Now, his father was Jehoram. He, he, we looked at him before. He was the idolater. He, he was the one who uh, had the potential to be a good king, but ended up being a bad king and ignored the, the good example of his father and his grandfather. And, and he ended up dying of this horrible, messy bowel disease. And uh, now his mother was Ath Athalia. Uh, Athalia was the daughter, of course, of Adam, uh, Ahab and Jezebel. And all of Ahaziah's uh, brothers were killed during a raid on the royal palace, but he was the only one to survive. So naturally, he then followed his father as king. Now, there was a question here. What side of the family would he take after? He had a godly uh, grandfather, Jehoshaphat, a godly great-grandfather, Asa, two wonderful godly kings that had ruled over Judah. Would he follow their example? Or would he follow the example on his mother's side of the family? And his grandmother, of course, was the very wicked Jezebel. Well, the Bible tells us which side he chose. Second Kings chapter 8 and verse 27 about Ahaziah of Judah. He followed the ways of the house of Ahab and did evil in the eyes of the Lord, as the house of Ahab had done, for he was related by marriage to Ahab's family. And what, what he did, he allied with King Joram of Israel against Syria. Uh, he visited Joram whenever Joram was then injured in battle and was convalescing at Jezreel. Ahaziah went to visit him and went. And while he was there, of course, he was visiting his own grandmother, the very wicked queen Jezebel. And basically Jehu turned up. Jehu had been commissioned by the Lord to wipe out Ahab's entire household and uh, he turned up and he did that and he, he killed King Joram of Israel. He killed uh, Queen Jezebel. And basically Ahaziah got caught up in all of that. And he was also shot by an arrow from Jehu and was killed. And so he was really collateral damage for what was happening with Ahab's household and the judgment that the prophets had said would come upon it. And Ahaziah was there caught up in it because he chose to associate himself with the darker and more sinister elements that could influence him and could surround him. He actually only reigned for one year and that was the end of his reign. It, it was not a good reign. It was a bad reign. It was a short reign. It was a tragic reign. And it could have been so different. You see, we all have different influences that uh, can help shape us. We have good influences in our lives and we have bad influences. I don't know anyone that has totally bad influences. There was always somebody there trying to bring words of advice that would be helpful and uplifting and upbuilding. And I don't know anybody who ever had was totally surrounded by good advice. There's always been bad influences. There's always been good influences. You know, we can't determine what influences surround us, but we can determine which influences we will follow. And Ahaziah chose to follow the wrong influences. And that's why his, his reign as king was unfulfilled. It was short. It was tragic. And ultimately, it was judged as a complete failure by the one person whose opinion really matters, and that is God. Today, you have an opportunity to be influenced by people for evil, and you have an opportunity to be influenced by people for good. Make sure that you seek out the right influences and uh, follow their example and not the bad examples that it would be so easy to follow. May God help you to do that today. And join us again tomorrow for another Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drahada.